Um, Collingwood this weekend obviously had the week to train. How are the girls feeling? Yeah, it's been great to be able to get back into a, a sort of a more normal routine. Um, but we were also a little bit mindful of, of obviously that compressed fixture that uh, for some of the players we kind of needed to manage the front end of the week. So tonight's training session uh, will be really good for the whole squad to be able to get up to you know full speed and, and get us ready for yeah for Schwat should be a great game over in Melbourne on Sunday. What are you expecting from the players? Yeah, so they they played Port last week and they played they had a fair bit of the game on their terms other than probably uh, stoppage. So they got they got well beaten at clearance, but then in general play in transition they actually moved the ball pretty well. So yeah, I mean obviously they've you know got a new coach and they're building their their game style, but but looking at the way that they're offensively trying to take the ball forward and, and then the way they're structured defensively, they're, they're pretty well organised. So um, yeah, we just need to be at our best and you know bring our you know contest level. And then obviously last week we were able to use the ball a little more efficiently going forward. So hopefully we can build on that. And um, squad selection was released last night and yeah. a couple of additions. Do you think you will make any um, changes um, for this weekend? Yeah, so there'll be one change. Um, so Amy Borkar will come back in uh, and Denny will miss this week, which is unfortunate. She's actually been in pretty good, sh pretty good form. Uh, but it's a little bit about that whole of squad uh, mentality and trying to make sure that we've got uh, everyone available and, and fit and firing, hopefully in the in the back end of the year. So, uh, yeah, it's, it, selections are really challenging at the moment. We've got uh, five players that are going to play a scrimmage over in Melbourne. It's a, it's going to be a challenging day. We've got to get to uh, Casey Field by 11:30 tomorrow morning. So uh, I'm I'm on a six o'clock flight. I think which will be fun. But um, but the whole squad, uh, the the way they've attacked it, uh, obviously there's some disappointment for those that aren't being selected. But they're in. They're doing everything they can, so we're, we're really happy with the way that the, the group's holding together. Three games left um, of the minor round season. What's kind of the focus of the group um, heading into that period? Um, yeah, we want to just keep trying to get a bit better, but ultimately the one of the primary focuses is to try and win uh, on the weekend because if we're able to do that, then we'll, you know, all things being equal, qualify for finals. And, uh, you know, that's a huge accomplishment in itself to, to give yourself a chance to compete through the final series. So um, without been too focused on the outcome the outcome matters so we've got to we've got to go about it the right way but if we can get a if we can get a result this weekend then as i said that'll qualify us which should be huge there's been a little bit of talk about some teams putting players behind the ball and um, is that something that you guys have um i guess combated a plan to to fix or yeah so obviously um you know anytime a lot of the games this year have been uh, wind affected there's been strong breezes so in that in that scenario often uh, you know, one of the responses is to is to get an extra number behind. Um, certainly, through you know the, the two games where we sort of struggled to score, part of the issue was that uh, you know our opponents had done that effectively. So, um, pleasingly, on the weekend, we were able to you know just use the ball a little bit differently coming into that into that forward fifty and and give ourselves plenty of opportunities. So, yeah, it's something we need to continue to work on. Um, it's you know it's part of the game. It's part of all football forever. <laughs> it's been going on. So. Um, you need to be you need to be ready to combat that. Um, you mentioned obviously if we win this if you win this one um, you'll be heading to another final series. How do you guys how do you as coach keep the girls in a good mindset so they're not too focused on the outcome and not too focused yeah. on the pressure that comes with that? Yeah, well, I probably shouldn't talk about it at press conferences for starters. <laughs> so I'm obviously doing a terrible job, but. Uh, but it's the reality. It's the reality of the competition. Um, you know, you try to win enough games to qualify. So, uh, winning and losing business. If you're not ready to accept that fact, then um, then you probably should do something else. Uh, but the way to get that win, uh, whether it be this week, next week, or the week after, the way to get that win will be by going about the things that we've done, you know, well at times this season. And 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 the way, And if we don't, then we won't get the results. So. Uh, in terms of how do we maintain that focus, it's I think the the losses that we've had sharpen you up a little bit. You recognise that uh, if you don't get it right, then then you'll get rolled. So um, it, it, I don't think it'll be an issue for us, but uh, we'll see. Eh? Obviously, being involved in a fair few final series, um, what makes this club, this team, so consistent? Obviously, there's been a bit of change in personnel over your time, but you continue to be so consistent in terms of making finals year in and year out? Yeah, well, we're not there, but uh, if we were good enough to get there, then um, it'll be as a result of the work that the players do. Uh, and yeah, everyone that's around the club is, is well aware of it because uh, they see they see the players come you know, well before the, the start of pre-season. Uh, they're sort of banging down the door to, to get in extra skill or, or conditioning or you know weights work. So 
Um, yeah, there's no secrets uh, to success other than to work really hard and to try and be efficient and effective in the way that you prepare yourself. So uh, we've just been really fortunate to have a, a cohort of players going back for a long period of time that have embraced that need to, to do the work in order to be good and, and they've got about and done it. Um, you're probably sick of getting questions about Noff, but her season so far has just been absolutely amazing. Um, I think she's on top of the leaderboard at the moment for the Coaches Award. Um, what do you love about her? And I guess what? how does she not only just continue to be good, but get even better? Yeah, well, I think that's the thing that she's most pleasing for Ebony uh, this year and every other year, really. It's, uh, um, you know, she, she would, I think she would admit that, you know, she's not the most skillful player in the competition or the one that walked in the door with the most natural talent. But I would argue it would be hard to find someone that's worked harder on their game um, as we, and, and not just this year. So she's having an outstanding season. It's, uh, it's great to watch her go about her work. But... Uh, yeah, it's it's not a result of one year's work or two years' work. It's a result of ever since she walked in the door, uh, just that drive to become the best player that she possibly can be. So every off-season, every pre-season, she's consistently working on another element to her game. Um, and, and she's not there yet. She's not the finished article. But uh, I think by the time her career ends, she'll be uh, all of those attributes will, will make her you know, one of the more remarkable players in the competition. Uh, and she's already in in that category, obviously, with some of the things she's been able to achieve.